Three American scientists won the 2013 Economics Nobel Prize on Monday for research that's improved the forecasting of asset prices in the long term and helped the emergence of index funds in stock markets. This year's prize in economic sciences is about predictions. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel 2013 to Professor <coughs> Eugene Fama from University of Chicago, USA, and Professor Lars Peter Hansen from University of Chicago, USA, and Professor Robert Schiller from Yale University, New Haven, USA. And the Academy citation runs for their empirical analysis of asset prices. Schiller helped create a closely watched gauge of US housing prices and in June this year warned of a potentially new housing bubble in some of America's largest cities. Fama, tipped as a Nobel winner for many years, has been called the father of modern finance and is well known for research showing that certain groups of stocks tend to outperform over time. Uh, they got it for their empirical research on asset prices and, you know, asset prices are supposed to convey information to the rest of the economies. It's really important to know how well these markets function. The behaviour of asset prices is key to decisions such as savings, house buying and national economic policy. Perhaps the most important implication of Pharma's findings is that it doesn't pay to try to beat the market. Analysis of individual stocks, etc., or an analysis of uh, short-run swings in the market don't pay off. So it's, we're much better off investing in index funds. And his research really uh, stimulated uh, the development of index funds, which now is uh, sort of the major investment vehicle for, for households.